The world is fighting against coronavirus. Some of us fighting to save lives. All the governments are fighting to save their economies. But also in this war, some people got tired. They're depressed. They're frustrated. They're feeling lonely, so they're fighting with themselves now. But very few people are concerned about them. We need to support them. It's time to talk about mental health. Over the years, the mental health problem is one of the biggest problems in this world. Some countries take it seriously, but most of the countries just ignore this problem. But in this pandemic time, the mental health problem is worse than any other time. So I'm not going to talk deeply today, but I'll try to give an idea briefly. I hope it will help you to understand this problem. By the suicide rate, Australia is standing at the middle of the chart, so I took Australia as an extense to show some statistics that will help us to understand the situation of many other countries also. According to Lifeline Australia suicide statistics, over 65,000 Australians make a suicide attempt each year. Suicide is the leading cause of death for Australians between the age of 15 and 44. For each life lost to suicide, the impacts are felt by up to 135 people, including family members, work colleagues, friends, first responders at the time of death, and one in four Australians are lonely and have no one to speak to. After looking at these statistics, I thought it would be better if we talk with someone in person. So I took an interview a few weeks ago while it was locked down in Victoria. So let's have a look. Now we have locked down in Victoria. So how do you feeling in this lockdown? How's it going? Um, I'm pretty lucky because we're still able to work, obviously, just delivering um, food. But yeah, I'm, I think it's really hard not seeing your friends all the time. It's pretty challenging because we obviously can't go to school and both Laura and I are in year 12. So our year has been pretty hard, I guess. Like we can't go out, we can't have our typical year 12 anymore so we can't party we can't do what we would normally do the i guess parts of year 12 we can't do how's it going with your study study studies have been quite hard to be honest i thought i was doing all right but when it came to exams i kind of realized that a lot of it hadn't sunk in as i'd hoped it would um haven't been able to come into uni and do all of our practical stuff um, which is how a lot of people learn, myself included. They have to do everything online and yeah, it's harder to contact teachers and go through teachers and things, so it's probably a lot harder. Yeah, it's good. I kind of dropped out, but yeah, it's all right. I've done passing the year so I can graduate. Um, it's, been, it's been really tricky. It's very, very different to what it usually is. Are you guys missing going to school? Yeah, definitely. I, yeah, definitely missing school, definitely missing our friends, I guess. Yeah. Are you guys in contact with your friends? Yeah, well, I think we're definitely in contact over, like, social media more than, obviously, face-to-face. How long do you use social media? All the time. Like, every day. Like, 24-7. Pretty much. <laughs> I would use it, like, probably eight hours each day. <laughs> yeah, I would say that I use it t- too much, probably. <laughs> That's probably the main thing. I've found myself using my phone and stuff a lot more yeah. um, but since we've been in lockdown and um, yeah, it's just a lot easier to so use. Have you ever noticed that by using social media that it's building up your stress level or your, it's causing your mental health? Yeah, I, I would say, yeah, definitely. I think social media does have a bad influence on some people at times, like sometimes social media can put out like a bad body image yeah. perspective on particularly girls maybe and also men I think because like some days I feel like oh well, I can't live up to those expectations so I feel a bit bad especially with all the um like all the COVID news that they're just putting out all these really scary statistics and it's a, it's quite scary to see how much bad news there is and there's not much positive news at the moment I don't think 
Um, so yeah, I definitely would say it has affected my mental health a little bit, yeah. I think there's good and bad things for social media. Uh, does bad things affect you? Um, sometimes, but I think, I don't think too much mental health wise. I think if anything, it's just like me not spending enough time, like being in the present and instead I'm spending too much time on social media. When you got through mental stress and illness, how do you deal with that? Or do, do you want to try to talk with your family or friends? I think I, talk, I use my friends a lot. I like to talk to my friends about it if, I, if I'm really down. But a lot of the time, I kind of just try and push it away and don't try not to deal with it, which can be pretty bad. Um, it can get pretty hard. But yeah, talking to my friends, um, if I can. But yeah, sometimes it doesn't, it's not always that easy. But, yeah. It's more being my friends than my family. I've probably kept it more of like private with my family um, but yeah definitely more of my friends and yeah just like my best mates and things will tell them about if I really need it but yeah. In social media sometimes people post some sad story some um, sad posts like they're frustrated they're depressed so they express their feeling in Facebook so have you ever tried anyone like any of your friend posted those kind of posts that he's sad, he's lonely. D did you ever uh, try to talk with him? Uh, did you text him that, uh, hey mate, how's a guy? Yeah, like yeah. That? Did I, you try it? I think, yeah, with my close friends, I definitely would. Yeah. Um, if I notice that, yeah, they're not feeling the best or they're a bit down, I'd definitely reach out and try and talk to them. But it's very, it's quite rare that people will actually talk about it, I think. Yeah, yeah we've lost a couple boys at Joey's which is the school I go to, about um, mental health and things like that and suicide and so they are aware it really well but government ways probably not, no. We saw lots of commercials and uh, lots of uh, social erroning videos in television from government. Did you notice anything uh, about mental health or something that, that was beneficial for you? Did it help you? I think I ever saw something from the government about it. Um, I don't even think, no, neither have I. I haven't seen like the government put out anything besides like the stay at home, wash your hands yeah. message. Um, I think like a couple of times I've seen like there's a lifeline out there for you, but nothing else. Um, I know in like a press conference they said that they were still putting in more money towards mental health but other than that it's only being brought up like once or twice in a press conference but nothing publicly yeah, repeated no. over and over again so no not really beneficial to anyone what's your opinion on how they can improve their communication with people about mental health make more ads yeah more ads about mental health like we always see the ads on tv from the government saying wash your hands like there are four reasons to go outside but we don't see anything about check up on your loved ones or anything like that yeah like you can like call or text someone to see if they're okay that kind of thing I think they should definitely, the first step would be openly just talk about all the statistics that you've like said today, they're crazy numbers, yeah. it's ridiculous how high the numbers are and how much, like, how many more people have died by suicide than corona, that's, that's crazy I think. Um, so yeah, being open and honest about um, like the situation that everyone's facing um, and yeah, just I guess just talking about it more and normalising, um, talking to your friends and letting people know that it's okay to feel like that or down and stressed and a bit depressed kind of thing because a lot of people are feeling that way at the moment and I think it's uh yeah it'll be good for them to just let everyone know that we're all going through it and that they they recognize it as well um like I know we can't obviously really go and visit anyone particularly at the moment like distance wise um but you can the government can obviously put out a message saying you can call and text friends to see if they're okay because obviously one in four people are lonely and they feel lonely, so the government can do something about that. 
do you guys have any message to those people who is attempting for suicide, who is thinking that that those one out of four people would think that they have no one to talk? Do you guys have any message to them? I'd say reach out. Like, there's always help that you can go to, like Kids Helpline and all that, all those type of places that you can call up and talk to them about. Yeah, and just like you're loved, like you're wanted. There's always a place here in this world for you. Like you don't have to give up just yet. Like there's always a rainbow at the end of the storm. Like just maybe not yet, but there's always a place for you here. But yeah, like Laura said, there's Lifeline. There's always Kids Helpline as well. So there's always people to talk to. Whether you're showing like just don't give up just yet. So many people care for you. Like just go to someone who you really feel connected with and just pretty much just open up to them, talk to them about whatever is going on and whatever you're thinking. And because I promise you, multiple people will try and be on your side and help you out and figure stuff out with you. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. Tu mi vengi por 